Welcome back, gang. It's the final day of the high school football season in Nebraska today as the last state championship games are played. Two Siouxland teams still active as Norfolk Catholic and Pierce look to bring home some hardware in Lincoln. Starting with the C2 title game, Battle of the Knights, Norfolk Catholic taking on Archbishop Bergen. After Norfolk Catholic's first drive stalled, Mason Timmerman to punt, but Mason Widener forcing the fumble on the return that Tyler Gasper recovers at the 20 yard line. Just two plays later, Carter Kirkman getting the carry, breaking tackles, taking it down the sideline 16 yards as Norfolk Catholic. It's the opening score of the game. But on the ensuing possession, after the kick went into the end zone, first play of the drive for Bergen. Koa McIntyre to Lucas Proust behind the Knight defenders, and that's 80 yards. He knots it up at seven in just one play, and it was a pretty explosive quarter for Bergen. Koa McIntyre to Cade McIntyre, 42 yards, makes it 28-7 Bergen after one. Just before halftime, Carter Jansen up top to Brennan Kelly. 21-yard score makes it a three-score game going into the break. The gap a bit too wide to overcome, though, as Norfolk Catholic falls 49-20. to You got to put it in perspective and be like, not many kids got to be here. And playing for Coach Beller, it's, it's a blessing in its own, too. I mean, no one knows what they're talking about more in Nebraska about football than high school football than Coach Beller. I'm proud of our kids, proud of getting here. I would have liked to play a little better just in terms of some mental breakdowns, but we played in this title game more than any other school, I think, in Nebraska, and, and uh, we're always striving to win it. We didn't get it done today, so we'll go to work next year and try to get one. In the C1 championship, Pierce playing for back-to-back -back titles, taking on Columbus Lakeview. Second quarter, Michael Kruntarad on the carry, and the ball pops free here. It's recovered by the Vikings, and it's a 56 yard scoop and score to make it 17 nothing Lakeview. Jays finally with the response on the next drive. Krutarad so wide open that we didn't see him. The defense didn't see him until it was way too late. 72 yards, Pierce on the board down 17 6. Under a minute left in the half, Vikings fake the field goals. Adam Van Cleve tosses it for another score to make it 24 6 Lakeview at the break. Fourth quarter, Jays battling back. Krunterod from Aaron Schulting, 25 yards this time, makes it a one-score game, 31-25. But under four minutes left, Colby Balzer breaking Pierce's heart as he slips through the defense and into the end zone for another score. And that would ice it as Pierce falls to Columbus Lakeview, 37-25 the final. A lot of people doubted us. In fact, the senior senior class went was like 0 and 12 in junior high and nobody knew nobody nobody thought we were going to be good when they when they became seniors but we fought and we worked this whole summer and we got here these guys have have, have done everything we asked them to do so i'm really really fortunate to be uh coaching them i always have felt fortunate to be from pierce and and to be placed where i'm placed um i wouldn't trade a pierce guy you know for anybody just because of their work ethic and their fight and their toughness